Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, TSANet video. This this video is for onboarding new members into open group relationships. This is the process to take you live in the TSANet system. And it's really broken down into to two different areas. One is the getting this inbound process document set up so that other members will be able to engage and collaborate with you. And then the second piece of this will be uh, how you set up your outbound callers, which we're just going to briefly touch on uh, how you set up individual users. I want to spend most of our time here talking about this process document because that's probably the biggest hurdle, um, although there's not a whole lot to it here. What I want to do here is I want to show you the end result of what we're looking for. So if I go in here to the directory, and this is just a, a demo account that I have set up, I'm going to go ahead and pick this company and go down in the decision tree. Here's the process document, and this is what we're going to be setting up for your company. And what I want you to note here, again, this is how other members are going to engage you. Uh, so you're going to set this up typically for multiple companies being using the same process document. And it's, the document is actually split up into three different sections. Step one is going to be what information do you want that member to capture about the customer before you call. Uh, it could be information, account numbers, whatever it is that you want them to do. Step two, exactly how do you want that other member to engage you? What number do you want them to call? This is going to be how you're going to direct those other TSANet members into your support center for collaboration. And then the very bottom part down here is going to be the escalation point. And we're going to request an escalation, either contact or process that, that allows uh, that other member, if they need to in, to escalate a call to you for some reason, uh, that you've got a path for that. Now, what I've done here is I've actually logged in as a company that's getting ready to onboard into the basic TSA net. And we actually set the company up after we got your legal documents, and we would have sent uh, a person their credentials to get into the TSA net system. Now, because we haven't assigned the relationship to this company, if that person were to click on the directory tab, they're not going to see anybody because you're not live in the system and you're not assigned to any relationships. Uh, but what it does allow you to do is get in and set up this process document. And that's done under the Departments tab. And we predefine a one department. And again, you can have multiple departments. We won't cover that in this video. Uh, but we, we set up a department called Corporate Support. And if you click on the Corporate Support Department, then we've already set up a process document for you. And again, it's not assigned to any relationships yet, but we give it a variation name of basic TSA net inbound. You can set this up to be whatever you want. Uh, if you're going to have multiple process documents, this becomes important because you want to be able to differentiate between your process documents. Step, uh, step one, which was that information you wanted to capture about, uh, about before the the other member called you. These this is actually done in a series of checkboxes. So whatever you have checked here is what's going to show up in step one, or you can actually go over here and make a new one if you want to, if, if these don't apply or you want to add one. How you want that other company to engage you, step two. That's what this contact instruction is right here. And you notice we just put this in here. You go ahead and load this in. It's a pretty much a free form text area. And then the same thing down here for the escalation point. So we'd want you to add an escalation contact here or an escalation process uh, for the other members to follow if they needed to. The special escalation manager, uh, that's going to be it's going to be checked here. That person will be the one that will be receiving emails from the system. As of every 90 days, we want people to go in and make sure that these processes are, are still valid. And, and we'll ask you to, to go ahead and either edit or validate that that process is still applicable. To come down here and actually save this document, now, what's going to happen is that's going to send the document to TSNet staff. We'll take a look at it, and once we approve it, then that actually will go in the system. And, and then, then that's the, the biggest step in taking you live. We're not live yet. Uh, we're going to go to one other area here. And, and I'm not going to go into, uh, or let me put it this way, I would not recommend that you add a lot of people into the system. This is adding outbound callers. And it's done under the company tab. And the reason I want to touch it on, on this video is because you may have a person that you want to go in 
and actually work on this process document as opposed to yourself. Um, the reason I advise you not to add in callers and things like that at this stage is simply because uh, we haven't actually taken the company live and we haven't assigned any relationship to anybody. But if you do want to add a user in here, you can go ahead and click on this Add User under the Company tab, put their information in. There's three different roles in the TSA Net system. If you're a business manager, you can assign program managers and callers. Uh, program managers would be someone that have the ability to go in and create and edit those process documents, create and edit callers. They have a, a similar view to the business managers. Uh, callers have a, a very much isolated view as to just this is how they need to engage. So they're only going to see just a couple of tabs and one of them is that directory tab. So this will this can be used uh, if you want to set up other program managers, but what I advise you to do is look at other videos on group logins and encrypted URLs, a much more efficient way than adding individual people into the TSA Net system. Well, guys, we want to keep this short uh, on this particular video. This is, a, this is one to get you going and get you live. Again, we're always here to help in the process if you need to engage us via telephone TSA Net staff. It's 913-345-9311. Thanks for watching.